Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air. Put your hands up in the air, put your hands up in the air. Okay? Okay, so I just received a massive box from Insta360. For those of you who've been following the channel, I have been using the Insta360 X3, haven't I? Been using the X3 and we've been using an extension bar and a fly mount, haven't we? Yes, we have. We've been using that in the channel. So this is what everyone's been asking me about. Ben, what camera are you using? What setup are you using? I'm using a fly mount, new generation fly mount, a two hole bar extension. So it's probably the same size as an iPhone, that. And then the Insta360 X3. Now Insta360 have seen these videos and they say, woo, this guy's doing a lot of Insta360 stuff. We have a new camera, we're gonna send him one. Yes, so I am a lucky boy because they've sent me a few goodies. We've just unboxed it and I will uh, show you what we've got. So the main thing we've got is the new X4. So we're gonna take it out the box in a minute, compare it to the X3. The main things I've seen online, this does 8K. Now you're gonna need a pretty powerful computer to be able to <laughs> process this. Do you need 8K? Probably not, but what you've got to remember is, are you listening? With a, with a with a 360 camera, the X, I mean with the 8K, it goes down to 4K. Whereas the X3 at the moment shoots 5.7 and when it cut down, it goes down to 1080. So we'll be able to have 4K video even after we've done it. That's exciting, isn't it? No, it's got, it's a bit bigger, which I'm a bit worried about, but the battery life is a lot bigger as well. They're the main points and it does have a lens guard, although I'm worried that it's not waterproof. And if you get water, we will come on to that. There's gonna be a few more details. I'm probably gonna do a more in-depth video. We've also got sent this. Yes, Vianna is very excited about this. This is basically a harness mount. Um, it says, what's it called? Like if you look at the back, you'll be able to see. But you, anyone who's seen the K4 mount before, which I'm not sure they're even making anymore, or the harness mount, this is the equivalent. I might adjust it, I might or I might just use it as is. I'm gonna give it a test and we'll see. So we've got that. We've also got this. Yeah, this is a mouth one. So I'm not quite sure how that works with a bigger camera, but you stick that in your mouth, I think, and you put the camera on there. Interesting, I didn't even know they did this. This was in the box, pretty cool. We've got the invisible safety stick. Yes, so the safety stick, what am I on about? Invisible uh, selfie stick. So I'm guessing this goes onto the waist mount. Yeah, we just pull this out and I think that goes on the back of the camera. Remember, all you know, 360 cameras just magically get rid of the pole if the camera is vertical. You want that? I'm not sure that's a good idea, so you might want to see a baby poke eye out. Stay tuned. Um, we've also got this, which I'm guessing this is a floatable thing for someone who's standing in the water filming. This could be also good. Let me give that to you as well. Don't break it. Um, just a lens cap, just to slip over the lens, nothing special. And then this, well, this is an invisible dive case. Now, I've got mixed feelings on this. It will be good for doing some in the water stuff, maybe, if we're messing around and you've got total you know, it's totally waterproof, but the camera's already waterproof. When I've used this before as a windsurfing mount, I found the water on the lens, because the lens of the dive case is further away than the actual camera, um, when you move the camera in post, you know, af after you've filmed and you're moving the camera, the water stays and it's a bit weird. So I'm going to give that another try. Maybe they've changed something, maybe they've not. So far, I've not found the use for it. Um, I do say the main things I wanted from this camera, are you right there? Enjoying yourself? Um, the main thing I wanted from this camera was changeable lenses because with a 360 camera, lens on both sides stick out, it's very easy to damage the lens. And I always wanted to be able to change it. But what I've heard is you can't um, at the moment with a 360 camera, because it's so delicate exactly where they're positioned, you can't change lenses. So this new one apparently has some lens guards, but I don't know if you can take them in the water. Again, that's something I'm gonna find out. And a safety leash. I always wanted a safety leash on the camera. Again, I'm not seeing that in any of the write-ups, so I'm not sure you've got it. There is a little uh, frame you can get for the Insta360 cameras, which a lot of people use, 
Um, I have been using mine like that. I'm a little, you know, happy-go-lucky. But as I said, they have just sent me a camera. So maybe, you know, if I've just spent five, six hundred on a camera, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, renegade-like in my approach. So shall we open up the camera? Yes, I think we shall. We shall. Let's see what we've got here. So, I'll tell you what, it's very nice packaging. It feels like, you know, when you open an iPhone for the first time, it's the same style. I think they've copied them because we've got that slidey box thing. Oh, look at this. Ooh, so there we go. That is, wow, it is chunky though. Look. Look at the difference. So that is the X3, and that's the new X4. So it's a bit chunkier. Same design by the looks of it. Just a bit bigger. Yeah, so it's exactly the, exactly the same. You've got some grooves on there. Not gonna make much difference to me, the grooves, but it looks like it will just fit straight as is. Difficult to tell how heavy it is. Maybe a bit heavier compared to this, obviously. I'll have to try it. Do you want me to open that? Yeah, so there we go. That is the X4. So what else do you get in the box? What else do you get in the box, do you think? Oh, she got a, she got a bit, oh. We just got to open this mouth guard, sorry. Oh, I'm not going to see what we just come. Oh, we see. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to that, but here we go. What have we got in here? So we have, oh, we've got a nice case this time. That's a new feature. Sounds stupid, but it is quite nice to have. Oh, we got, oh, we got, oh, we got a few things like the old, remember the old cameras where you used to get that plastic case? Quite sure why we'll do that, but we'll find it out. You get a cable. I mean, there's nothing special in this type of stuff, but I've never seen that plastic case before. I'd quite like to know what the reason for. Cable, we've got lens cleaner. Like I said, case goes in there. Oh, fancy, fancy. Oh, we've got something else here. What we got? Instructions, <laughs> YouTube. That's where I get it from. We'll do a bit of YouTube. Oh, we got, ah, so we've got these. So these, again, I'm just doing this quickly, but these are, as far as I've read online, these are the lens covers. So you can see that. So, as far as I'm aware, again, I'm just gonna show you quickly here. Yeah, oh, look, we got this, this box. So this, as far as I understand, goes on yeah like that which that looks very good what I'm worried about is it's not waterproof you know will you get water inside I don't know I'd like to think not but something tells me they're not made for water sports but that would be perfect I mean that's what you really need Anyway, we'll have to work that out. So, I mean, we've got, I've probably lost a bit of stuff. I've not done this very, uh, in an organized way. But that is, again, we've got the dive case. We can have a quick look at this. Have you lost that box already, madam? Put that dive case in there. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. Oh my God. <laughs> Dad's broke the box already. How's your eyes? Are they all right? I think I'll open this the wrong way. <laughs> okay, so. So that is the dive case. So I'm guessing 
dips in like that. Boom, boom, boom. There you go, full protection. Just put that under the water. Again, will it be good for windsurfing? Will it be good for windsurfing? We don't know. We don't know. I have a feeling, like I said, when you get water on here and then you move it around, it's not great. Yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna go because Vianna has had enough and she's got a problem with her eyes at the moment, so we need to go take care of them. Uh, we do have this. I'm gonna open this just before I go. Okay, you help dad. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'm sure there's an easy way. Which one do you reckon? Should we just rip it? Yeah. Here we go, well, look at that. The big box. Happier with the box. Typical. Yeah, oh, so this, actually, this looks pretty plush. Again, I haven't quite figured out exactly what I'm going to do with this, but this is, this could go, again, I could adapt this. Oh. Okay, they might take me a bit of... So it's in two parts. I could just put this onto the back of the harness and then the selfie stick basically screws to this as far as I know. Okay, babe. If in doubt, give the box. So then that, you can adjust it, you can move it and you can make it longer or shorter. So again, I'm not quite sure how this will work in the water. Is it meant to go in the water? Probably not. Will it rust? Maybe. But I quite like the idea of either adapting this plate for the harness and having this selfie stick. I think it's quite cool. So yeah, we'll see. There we go. Plenty Okay, so as you can see, the sound actually went at the end of this video, but that was right at the end. And all I'm saying is we are going to go and test this X4 on the same setup like I've had the X3, uh, and you can judge the quality for yourselves. The baby is going absolutely mental. What are we going to do? <laughs> anyway, stay tuned to the channel. There is a video coming. Uh, yeah, and judge for yourselves what you think of it. <laughs>